flip dip. Yes. Mmm. Kimchi. We are planning to travel. So after many requests to do this kind of video, what mm. we eat in a day, yes. we can't think of a better time, you know, we are basically staying inside all the time. Mm -hmm. So we thought we would share some of our favorite go-to meals that are like on the simpler side. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys will find it easy to follow as well. Today I'm going to start off breakfast with French toast, which mm. is kind of like an occasional treat for us, but mm. it's Monday and that's French toast day, so. Okay. When I'm usually cooking or making something, I always put my recipes on my computer. I just like read it from this way. But anyway, this serving is for two people. So we've got one egg. This is for the French toast mixture. And half a cup of milk. Usually we drink almond milk. But we did try almond milk for this, remember Kilo? Mm -hmm. But I prefer it with just the regular milk. So usually I'll whisk the egg first. Then I'll add half a cup of milk. And usually I put this in a slightly deeper bowl. I'm gonna use this to dip the toast in, but I don't like mixing in this kind of bowl because I just make a mess. Next is a little tiny pinch of salt. Beep. Not that much. Half a tablespoon of sugar. And you can use maple syrup for this too, but since maple syrup is like a precious commodity here in South Korea, we're gonna save it for the topping, so. It's pretty expensive. Now half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh. So if you want like a really strong vanilla -y taste, you can add a little more than this, but I think this is enough for us. And of course, ground cinnamon. So we need half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I actually add a little bit more because we love cinnamon. I usually put like, I don't know, a little bit more. Mm. Oh, that cinnamon. Can you smell? Oh yeah. All right, so we've got our brioche bread. We've got three pieces because we're gonna each have one and a half pieces. The two of us can't eat a big breakfast because we get bad indigestion if we do that. I'm going to transfer the mixture into like a wider, flatter type of bowl so it's easier to dip the bread. And I add some butter. So just make sure your pan is evenly coated. So this is usually how I dip them. I try to do it as fast as possible, it's like dip, Flip, dip. I do not want them to get soggy. So I think we have room for two pieces right now. So again, whoop, dip it, flip, and dip. Check it every once in a while. And a little bit longer. We like ours just a little bit golden brown. I'm gonna flip this one, because I think it's just about ready. Oh. I have a little bit of butter here before I flip this guy. Throw this last piece on here. Yep. All right. These two are good to go. Yes. So add a little butter in the middle. Sprinkle some cinnamon on if you want. Finished. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oops. Yeah, I'm kind of weird. I put my maple syrup in like this little kind of dish and then I dip because I don't like my pancakes to get soggy. Deep, 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 deep. Do you want some? <laughs> mm. Good? Mm. So Thank this, you. no problem. Mmm. Mm. Not bad. There's so many ways to make French toast. Mmm. Very nice. Best breakfast. I don't know, it's a really, really nice morning and I kind of want to go for like a walk or like something. I want to ride a bike. Yeah, burn this off a little bit so we're ready for lunch. Mm. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Kind of our deal as a couple is always like, whoever cooks the other person does the dishes. No, yeah. this kid does most of the job, but. <sighs> our baby. Okay, we're going out now. You be good. <laughs> He's tea and art. His ears cut. Feeding all the cats that we see. <laughs> we 
these guys came to greet us when we came back. Bonk. Hey, Bonk. girly. <laughs> He loves to wrestle, but the other cats think he's annoying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All these people are like... We got really hungry, so we just came home and gonna cook butter kimchi bokkumbap. I already made a video about this and Kyu was out of the kitchen, but anyway. So the reason why I decided to make kimchi bokkumbap is because we have leftover rice and we have a little bit sour kimchi, so it's better to use and fry it. It's very simple. Before we start, the reason why our rice is like this kind of color is because I usually mix with white rice and these different types of grains. I use uh, one cup of uh, white rice, half cup of this and a half cup of this. Let's do this! I cut the kimchi. I like to use scissors, otherwise it takes forever. Now I'm gonna put the butter in the frying pan. Stir the kimchi and cook for about three to five minutes. Now I'm gonna dump rice. <laughs> okay, never mind. We use mild tuna. Sometimes I put sausages if we have some leftover sausages or even ham. Demos fur. <laughs> Sesame oil. I'm gonna fry two eggs, one each. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Oh. <laughs> You kill it every time. Whenever we have leftover rice, kimchi that's getting like too sour to eat on its own is the perfect kind of meal to make with leftovers. Mm. Mm. Thank you, boo. Mm. You're welcome. Actually, Sarah and I were planning to travel on my birthday, but um, because of all this situation, we couldn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. We're planning to go to like Southeast Asia. Yeah. Maybe next year. I hope so. Isn't it so crazy, like, the little things that we just completely took for granted? Mm -hmm. I miss being able to, like, sit in a restaurant or, like, meet our friends to grill meat or something just mm -hmm. like these. Yeah. It's definitely weird times. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we can enjoy the meal yeah, this is at home. Mm -hmm. Kyo has been watching... It's like a racing... Drifting. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's on the edge of his seat, literally. <laughs> So we didn't have that many veggies today and we're gonna try to make up for it with this meal. We're gonna have our own version of Korean barbecue. We've got lettuce, onion, cucumber pepper. I don't know what it is in English. Yeah. And mushrooms and sweet potatoes. We've got rice cakes, garlic, like the works. Beef and rice. Oh. We have our little grill here. For us, the dipping sauce is always samjang and sesame oil mixed with salt and pepper. So we're gonna get with prepping and cutting the veggies and then we'll show you guys how we you know, eat this kind of meal at home. Yeah, this is definitely a favorite meal for us because it's a good way to get some uh, veggies and protein in like pretty easily. I cut up gogoma like okay. this, really thin, so it cooks quickly. All right, I'm gonna start cooking meat. I cut these mushrooms like this, thin and flat so that they'll cook. I'll just put these guys here. Garlic. Some we'll just grill, and I'm gonna cut these guys up for like 
thin, thin, raw pieces. This is the meat that you just ordered the other day. Mm. And then we've got like one piece of the leftover meat we had in the freezer. Here's our vegetable assortment. It's looking pretty good. So Monday's our day off. Oh, went for a bike ride and we came back and you're watching this race car something? Hyper drive. Drift. Drift. And then me, I don't have like my earbuds in. I don't know why, but three or four days ago, I had this Jersey Shore compilation of season one recommended to me on YouTube. And I was like, well, where did this come from? I watched it and now I'm like, swirling down this rabbit hole of like 2009, 2010, like Jersey Shore clips. Man, I remember those days. Let me know if you guys watched that like back in the day or what your reality show guilty pleasures is because that was mine. like cook your veggies in. We personally like using olive oil. I'm gonna put some rice cakes on here. We buy these little thin ones like this, the ones that you usually use for money coke or something, but they're really good grills. Ooh, that meat looks good. What? I barely even have to chew this. One great thing about Korea is that we're able to like order groceries quite easily and really limit going out. Thanks to the delivery guys. Yeah, really. oh my God. They work so, so hard. They definitely need to be more appreciated. Definitely. All right guys, so we're gonna enjoy our Korean barbecue meal. If you hope can't grill and concentrate filming at the same time, we'll be enjoying this for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. Anyway, usually we have kind of that little snack when we watch one of our shows, but we were just too full. A lot of viewers recommended us to watch Tiger King. This is some... What is this show even about? Oh my god, it's like the weirdest thing I've ever watched. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this was basically meals that we typically eat. I'd say this was just kind of like an average day. It wasn't super on the healthy side or super junky for us. Just kind of like in between. There's some days where we really commit to eating like super healthy stuff. And right. it's just all about balance mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, let us know if you guys want to see more videos like this. Well, all right, guys. We'll see you very soon and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye. Get the chimp right now. I'll walk right in. Well, I don't even know what a chimp birthday party is. Content. This is nuts.